right, Sophie, your first day. How are you feeling? I think I'm excited, actually. This is my first job, so great stuff. Right, let me introduce you to everyone. So that's Amy. She gets along with everyone. Hi, nice to meet you. That's Jenny. She knows all the gossip. So if you want to know anything about anyone's personal life, go to her. Oh, okay. Hi. That's Lindsay. She's very old. She probably shouldn't be working here still. Oh, and that's Aiden. Everyone kind of fancies him. Can't imagine why. Uh, I meant, uh, hi, nice to meet you. Um, so shall I get started? Yeah, you'll be working with Lindsay today. Right, okay. So how do we actually make a Big Mac? Oh, I don't know. Sorry, you don't know? No, they kind of just pay me to stand around and do nothing. So why have they paired me with you today? I, I thought you were gonna help me. Sophie, have you made that burger? The customer's waiting. Oh, uh, yeah, there you go. Sophie, just a quick word in my office. Oh, uh, Okay, uh, is everything okay? No, you made the burger wrong and the customer complained. Oh, I'm really sorry. I I've never done this before and Lindsay wasn't very helpful. Well, I need to get you used to working here and the only way to do that is to throw you in the deep end. So can you go and talk to the customer and apologize? On my first day? What if they shout at me? I'm sorry, but it has to be done sometimes. You've just got to take it. Okay. So how do you explain this Big Mac then? This is not what I ordered. Look, I'm really sorry. It's my first day, so... And how hard is it to make a Big Mac? <sighs> uh, Sophie, what's going on? Why are you in here? Did you apologize to that customer? Oh, um, yeah, um, I just really don't know if this job's for me. Why? Just because you have to deal with horrible customers? Yeah, I mean, I didn't really expect this when I applied for McDonald's. Right, well, I'll give you a minute to sit in here and sort yourself out, but I want you back in the kitchen. Okay, boss, thank you. Oh, what's up? Uh, are you okay? Me? Yeah, you. There's no one else in here. Oh, right. Yeah. Um, well, yeah, I'm fine. I'm just taking a break. <laughs> but it's not your break time. Right. Yeah. Um, sorry. I'll leave you to it. Uh, Jenny, where's Lindsay? I thought she was helping me. No, I'm helping you now. Lindsay's not very good at her job. Oh, Okay. So did the boss tell you I know everyone's gossip? Uh, yeah, he might have mentioned it, but I don't really get involved in stuff like that. No, come on. Who do you want to know some gossip about? Uh, I really don't need to know any gossip, actually, because I may have some gossip on Aiden. You have? What is it? Whoa, now look who's interested. Interested? In Aiden? Why would you say that? I meant interested in the gossip. Oh, right. Um, yeah, silly me. I'm definitely not interested in Aiden, but um, go on, what's the gossip? Well, he's recently become single. Really? Interesting. Okay, you definitely like Aiden. No, I don't. I don't even know him. I've literally just met him today. If you say so, <gasps> he's coming. What's up? I thought I heard my name. Uh, definitely not. Um, I was just teaching Sophie some things. Teaching her what? How to gossip? Excuse me? Come on, Jenny, we all know what you're like. Don't listen to her. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna leave you guys to it. Uh, so how are you finding your first day? Um, it's been eventful. <laughs> right, Sophie, Aiden, I need you both on the closing shift tonight. Oh, really? But I had plans. Well, I'm sorry, but you'll have to cancel them then. I need you both here. It will just be us three, though. <sighs> cool. Oh, you're suddenly okay with this, Aiden? Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> Um, so I'm now on a night shift with Aiden. How has this happened? What do I do? What? Well, that's a really good thing, isn't it? You like him. How many times do I have to say that I don't like him because I don't know him? But what do I do? I don't know, just be cool. And how do I be cool? It's Aiden. I really don't think you'd be saying this about someone you didn't like. I just know I'm gonna be awkward. I'm gonna mess it up. Just admit that you like him. Okay, fine. Yes, I might like him a little bit. Wait, really? This is such big news. <gasps> Jenny, where are you going? Boss, you'll never believe who fancies Aiden. Now let's see, uh, Amy? What, no, Sophie, really? Yeah, she just told me. And you've put them on a night shift together tonight. This is perfect. Yeah, I don't really think that's appropriate anymore. I'll ask Amy instead. No, just let Sophie do it. Well, I don't really want the two of them working alone together. Come on, it will be nice for them. Don't you want a little romance in the workplace? Yeah, you know what, you're right. What's the worst that could happen? Right, you two. You ready for your evening shift together? Huh? Why is he acting weird? I'll just be in my office if you need me. Well, that wasn't weird at all. Right, lights down. 
romantic music. Huh? What's this music? Oh, I see what's happening. I mean, it's nice that we get to listen to music at work, but bit of a weird song choice. To be honest, I think he's trying to set us up. What? Why would he do that? Oh no, I told Jenny. What? Uh, look, I'll just go and talk to him. What are you up to? Nothing. Just thought you guys might like some music, that's all. Why? No reason, uh, but I might have heard that someone has a little crush on you. Oh, really? You didn't hear it from me. So, I see the boss turned that music off. Yeah. What, did he say something? Uh, nah, no he didn't. Hi guys, fancy seeing you two here. The boss just called me into work. Jenny, hi, I thought it was just gonna be me and Aiden tonight. Sorry, no, I'm working now as well. Great, so are you two getting on okay? Anything happen? What, no, I think I just need a minute. Go after him. <sighs> Is everything okay? Yeah, yeah, it's cool. You've been acting weird since you went to talk to the boss. What happened? Okay, he might have told me you have a crush on me. Right, um, and judging by your reaction, I'm guessing that's a bad thing. No, it's cool. It's just that everyone in here knows everyone's business and I just don't really want everyone talking about us. Us? Well, yeah, obviously I like you too. Oh, okay, um, well, we'll just keep it a secret then. Well, that's gonna be quite hard, especially since Jenny's working tonight now. No, it's okay. We can do this. I'll see you back out there. Cool. Oh, Aiden, can you just pass me a bun, please? Sure. Thanks. <laughs> oh, am I interrupting? What's going on here? Uh, just making a Big Mac. I saw the way he passed you that bun. I don't know what you mean. Uh, when you finish that, just go and clean that table for me. Okay. Again, I saw that, the way he looked at you. I'm right here. Oh, there is definitely something going on here. Do you two like each other? I mean, I know Sophie definitely likes you. Jenny? Nah, I'm not interested. Sorry. Huh? The secret, remember? Um, yeah, no, I'm definitely not interested in Sophie. I mean, look at her, why would I be? Oh, Aiden, that's actually really rude. Sophie, what happened? Oh, I don't know. How about you basically called me ugly in front of Jenny? But that was the plan, wasn't it? To keep us a secret. I know, but it just wasn't very nice. Look, I don't know if I can do this. Wait, you two are like together together? Jenny, why are you listening? You've known each other like a day. How can you be together already? You basically told me to go for it and you even told the manager. Well, this is definitely hot gossip. You wait until tomorrow when everyone's back at work. <laughs> I'm really sorry about this. This is why I don't date people at work. Great. Dreading this shift. Sophie, last night was so fun working with you. Aiden, hi, um, yeah, it was fun. Apart from Jenny, of course. Yeah, I'm actually really nervous to work today. She's gonna be telling everyone about us. It's all right, they're just rumors. We'll just ignore it. We're not even officially together anyway. Oh, yeah, of course, I know that. Um, but everyone else is gonna think that we are together. Sophie, Aiden, fancy seeing you guys here after our cheeky little shift last night. You haven't told everyone already, have you, Jenny? Jenny. No, actually, I decided to keep it to myself in the end. Oh, thank you, Jenny. That's actually really nice of you to not tell everyone. Oh, don't worry. Your dirty little secret's safe with me. Great. Um, so seems like we're gonna have a normal shift today. Yeah, I heard they were canoodling in the staff room last night. Uh, what's going on? Oh, Sophie, uh, nothing. I just heard you had a good shift last night. That's all. Okay. Oh, the boss wants to see you in his office, by the way. What? Hi, boss. Uh, heard you wanted to see me? Yeah, Sophie, it's about last night, your shift with Aiden. Um, I just didn't realise you guys were so, um, passionate. What? Well, if I had known how deep you guys were, then I wouldn't have played the romantic music for you last night. Sorry, what are you talking about? Listen, I know what you and Aiden did last night and it's just not acceptable in the workplace. What is happening? Sophie, you're fired. What? But I haven't even done anything. Thing. Well, Jenny says otherwise, and she was an eyewitness last night. I just expected better from you, Sophie. You can leave now. Whoa, Sophie, you okay? What happened? I just got fired. What? Why? Maybe you should ask Jenny. Jenny, what have you said? Nothing. Uh, I thought I told you guys that um, I decided not to say anything in the end. Well, Sophie's just been fired because of your lies. What? She's been fired? Yes, because you've obviously told everyone that something happened last night when it didn't. Oh, okay, yes, I may have started a rumor, but I didn't know she'd be fired. Well, Jenny, you need to fix this. Boss, 
I have something to say. What is it, Jenny? Make it quick. And I don't want to hear any more about Sophie and Aiden. Yeah, about that. I said, I don't want to hear any more about it. It's none of my business. And I don't like this gossiping that you do. I lied. I'm sorry? Sophie and Aiden didn't do anything last night. I made it up. Why would you do that? Well, you know I like to gossip and I thought they were actually together. So I may have said that they kissed last night and I told everyone. Well, I've just fired Sophie. Well, you have to tell her you've changed your mind. She hasn't done anything wrong. Okay, then you're fired. What? But I just started a little rumor. It's not that deep. Well, this whole situation's chaos. So only one of you can work here. One of you has to go. Okay, so who's going? I'll have to choose. Just give me a couple of hours. Go and tell Sophie. Sophie, I'm so sorry this is happening. This is all my fault. It's okay. I've just packed up all my stuff, but it's no one's fault. We like each other, so we haven't done anything wrong. Well, Sophie, you got your job back, but only one of us can work here. The boss won't let us work together. Right, well, see you, Jenny. Uh, I have just as much of a right to work here as Sophie. So the boss has to choose between the two of you? Yep, let the games begin. <sighs> Right, so I have to get the boss's approval and be really good so that he chooses me over Jenny. Oh, boss, do you need any help with that? Uh, no thank you, Sophie. I don't think you'd know how to do this. Okay, um, can I get you a coffee? No thank you. Oh, boss, did you need your car cleaned? What? Well, I just looked outside and it looks a bit dirty, that's all. I just thought you might want it cleaned. No, please don't clean my car, but, um, you could get back to work? Boss, Sophie's been amazing today. She's done so much work. Right. Thank you, Aiden. I think she's honestly one of the best employees we've ever had. I'm sorry, what is going on here? Just telling you who the best employee is. If this is about me choosing Jenny or Sophie, then this is not the right way to go about it. But have you made your decision yet? I will have in a minute if you don't get back to work. Boss, just get it over with. You're choosing Sophie and you're firing me, aren't you? I honestly don't know what to do. I can't fire either of you. So we both get to keep our jobs? Yes, you can both keep your jobs as long as you stay out of trouble and stop gossiping. I promise I'll never gossip again. <laughs> It's so good you got to keep your job. Yeah, Jenny actually redeemed herself. I think we're gonna be friends now. Yeah, just be careful though. Well, anyway, better get back to work. Wait, you're missing something. What? This. Oh, I knew it! Jenny, it's not what it looks like. Nothing happened. So I almost got fired for starting a rumor that's true. You were about to do something in the workplace. Please don't tell anyone. You know what? I won't. Wait, really? Yeah, no one needs to know. I'll leave you guys to it. Do you really think she means that? I think so, but do you wanna just meet up after work? Then we don't have to worry about people at work and we can just be by ourselves. Yeah, I think that would be best. <laughs> Random question, um, but have you heard any new rumors recently? No, the only gossip I've heard is that Jenny fancies the manager. Right, she actually stuck to her word. Right guys, I'm going home, I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, bye. Oh, are you guys not gonna make a joke about me and Aiden? No, why would we? If you're together, that's fine. We don't gossip anymore. So if I told you that me and Aiden are meeting up after work, you just wouldn't care? No, that's cool. Have fun, darling. Okay, well, Bye then. <laughs>